Hello Realmers, welcome back to Rich's Realm. It's great to see that the Marvel Realm of Champions community is growing and we are looking forward to a lot more things that Kabam have to offer for this game. But make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And this video is going to go over this current meta, whether you could call it. Do bear in mind a lot of things subject to change like in the game and whether or not Kabam choose to uh, not nerf this but prevent stuff like this happening. We're going to look at the three Black Panther cheese strategy um unstoppable strategy unbreakable strategy straight to the bodock and smash strategy all of those things combined to get easy wins with three black panthers let's have a look at this this story all comes about because i was sent this clip by it's me 56 and as well in the team is adam g r and l kadosh uh, three people i've played with in the past so shout out to them and this is, yes, this is a victory, but this is a very astounding victory, especially with what you're going to see right here. So you're going to play it and also break it down. With three Black Panthers on the team, one with claws, the two with spears, there's still stuff when it comes to the abilities of Black Panther to make it go unstoppable and, uh, and as well uh, sort of like indestructible, so to speak. And if you know Black Panther well, you know that the rapid amount of damage the champion is able to accumulate based on things like bleed, a lot of very quick critical or uh, cruelty level damage, especially if you know your MCOCs, you're able to do like just a melter amount of damage. And in particular, this kinetic shield Black Panther activates a vibranium suit to gain a shield. After a brief moment, the suit explodes, dealing crushing damage to adjacent enemies. This play that we're going to be looking at now is centered around that understanding of uh, of getting that vibranium shielding, so to speak, of that shield, as these three are all together. The fight will play out just like this. I don't know if they uh, agreed to all do this, but it looks like they had this plan in mind to just get away from the enemies as much as possible. Unfortunately, one gets rooted because of Web Warrior, and then they just go straight ham with the SP1 activated straight into the SP2, and all three of them are just completely plying on. They're going to die, of course, but this is the thing about coming back. They've already done 36% 30%, of the damage. Now, I don't know if I 100% condone this because it may not always be, and it may not always go this way, but... Look, you've got two that have just skipped past again. They've waited for that SP1 to be ready. They've confused the enemy. Uh, that's the thing. If you're not expecting this play, it's still a, a relatively fine play. It's just the case it's... If you know it's going to happen, you can take little... You can do things in order to counteract it. Now, could you have an SP3 ready with Source of Supreme? Yes, that is, is going to be a counter to this particular moment. But this is pretty impressive and fun. Also, if you had slowing, if you if the enemies were smarter to slow at a certain time, you could prevent this. But as well, you need to target one at a time or at least stun target one at a time. Hulk as well with the fists could do something of a counter as well. And Hulk's SP2, if he timed it in well, could punch all three or maybe one or two into the wall, stun them. And then, you know, you could just finish them off in theory. But also there is Super Soldier. His SP2 and SP3 will be handy in order to stun, pick off, and as well on the SP3 or the Ultimate, be able to uh, stun them and knock them down, which can be helpful for the situation. So what I wanted to do, and as I said, what, we were, what we're trying to do is showcase that this is an amazing, amazing type of strategy, but it can be counteracted as well. As I said, the, the way this was done, it's smart, like not to say anything, anything away from it. It was incredibly smart. All three have gone towards it. Could it be a case that with uh, there was that was a good web in place, and that's the thing. Rooting helped to pick off one of the champions, but it's difficult to recognize the play because this is one of the first times I've seen this play be played out. And it is interesting. It will be fun to try in the future if you could have three Black Panthers together to grow them. But at the same time, if you go facing off against Hulks, Super Soldiers and possibly a well-timed iron legionnaire drones which maybe that player was you know first time seeing it didn't know how to react it could have been better as well if that storm which uh could could have timed some slows in maybe slowed one of the other ones could have been of benefit 
but it is a very tricky situation there also looks like they didn't really understand what to do with uh, getting the capture point or kind of at least staying towards the center if it was indeed possible so there's a lot that could be done there that was good that was good slowing that i saw by storm but at the same time this is just wow incredible incredible like i said not to take anything away from it because it is an incredible feat to get that w very very easily but i would say that that's the thing you would have to have if you if you didn't have a hulk on your team and were able to counteract this you'd be pretty peed off uh by seeing this come come towards you so yeah fantastic amazing play very very good to see the enemy didn't know what to expect and it would be kind of cool to test out this play as well is this the current meta oh kind of quite a cheese method yes to a degree but it is something that as i said if you've got a super soldier you got your hulk you have champions that are able to do stuns and slows and rooting in place you're able to counteract this as well so we're showcasing yes this is amazing but there are ways around it especially if you are seeing three coming towards you but yeah i'd like to see more of this i might want to try this out myself that's been uh, the video thank you very much for watching i've got lots of videos planned out i just need to find a uh, good enough time to uh, to kind of put them out and also make them because i've written them i just need to make them but yeah lots of content coming for the channel and see you all very soon thanks for watching bye bye